Just popping back with a little bit of news. We have exceeded the club vision for reaching the playoffs three years ahead of schedule. Uh, this was not supposed to be done or was not expected until the end of the 2053-54 season. And here at the end of the 50-51 season, the Graf Shop are, in fact, a playoff club. We have actually been pretty lucky in that we lost our starting keeper, and you know how strong he has been this year, and he is out possibly for the remainder of the season. We might, we might get him back for the season finale against Emmon. Not sure. But our reserve keeper has been playing really well. Let's take a look. It's Mehdi Sayud. Uh, he is 20 years old from Belgium, and he's allowed three goals in four matches, two shutouts, and I think he's played just the last two matches, and you can see him starting to show a little positive progress in his ability. So if we look at the run-in, final four matches for each side, Heracles, three bottom half of the table, and then Zwoll. Zwoll has a pretty rough run-in, second, third, fifth. Fortuna has basically the three, three of the five bottom of the table teams, and then Zwoll. We've got first, fourth, 10th and 12th, and then Emmon have 2nd, 6th, 9th, and 13th. Now, we're probably, I mean, we're, we're in striking distance. They did lose their last match. We're on a four-game uh, four win streak, four-match win streak. So we're only two points behind Emmon for the league title, and we're two points ahead of Sitard for the automatic promotion spot and that's what we're shooting for but i kind of wanted you guys to see what was going on so we'll take a look at the results since dropping that match to satard last episode a 3-1 win over excelsior three nut nil win clean sheet over dordrick another clean sheet over young ajax and a 3-2 win over mvv that was probably not as dominant as it should have been. So Zwoll is going to be a big match. I'm playing that off camera. We're going to come back for the Emin match as that could have playoff implications or automatic promotion implications. So Emin definitely next episode. And if we do go to the playoffs, that'll be the following episode. We'll do a probably do a playoff review and then the final match, which, whatever that is. So I'll record every match, delete it if I don't need it, move on to the next match as long as we last. So it'll still only be one match for you guys. But uh, let me get through these next couple of matches. I'll see you guys after the intro for the regular season finale against Emin. Well, hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you dropping by. Uh, so, showed you in the introduction. We are in decent form. We're in good form. Uh, we just had a draw with Zwoll, and Fortuna has equalized with us on points. But we have a significant goal differential advantage, so that's good. Our youth intake has arrived, and it's not a bad-looking class. I haven't looked at any of the players outside of the star rating, but we've got Eamon Alou. His physicals need to improve, but he's only 16, right? That's, that's the whole thing with these kids. But five-star potential. Daniel Baljic, another a midfielder, four-and-a-half-star potential. He's already got some physicals developing. Some of these guys could end up looking really good. So um, anyway, I definitely think we could see signing 
at least seven of these guys long term, you know, to account, you know, to to the youth squad. So wanted you to see that. Well, we are finally here. The last match of the regular season. You can see we're in a good uh we're in good form. Five wins, two draws, no defeats in our last seven. That Fortuna Sitard game is looming large. We drew with Zwoll 1 1. We beat Catwick 2 1. And Camber, we drew 3 3. Uh, Quasi has gotten on the score sheet. We're actually training him on the left side. He's not happy about it, but he's, he's pretty solid over there. He has developed the uh, ability to play. But he's naturally left-footed, and he can play on that side, the right side. So I think he's going to be okay. But he is taking a hit, and I think it's because of playing out of position. But his ability is maintained. His form has picked up a 6'8 last match after a 6'5 and a 6'3 in his first couple of matches back from injury. So... Where do we stand here? Well, if we take a look, the title is up for grabs. We are on a seven-match unbeaten run, as we just talked about, and we're currently in second place. We've won four of our last five away matches, which is important because this is an away match today at Emmons. Emmons have won three of their last five home matches, and basically the winner wins the league title. Uh, they will be without uh, Emmanuel G G uh, Gebs and Rude, uh, the Rude Witten. Is that their team like nickname? Uh, we are going to be without Yari Stammen, a neck strain, and Anas Banu, our starting left back, who is suspended. But I think we're covered there. So let's get into it. All right, so there is the table. We're at 74 points. Uh, we do hold the advantage over Fortuna Sitard, plus 14 goal differential. They are the only team that can keep us from getting promoted. They play Zwoll. So that's a – Zwoll can't catch them, but at least Zwoll are good enough that they could take them down. We really need Sitard to lose, and then we go up automatically with – any result. If they lose, we're, we're in no matter what happens. If they win, then we have to win as well because a draw would drop us behind them. So, you know, like they say, win, handle your own business. All right, we are going to go. Do I want to stick with this tactic? We've been in good form with this tactic. I'm going to put Quasi back on the left. That is going to bring Body Chellick on the right. Fady Chellick. Sabuni's going to get the start at left back. Taruda and Nateb. Viral's back in goal, so he is back in. And last five games 6 9 8 for both of our strikers. Martinez. We can bring him on short term as a difference maker, maybe. He is injured. Not going to be the best game for him here. Oh, the stress, the stress. Let's, uh, let's go with the outstretched arms. There we go. Let's do that. We'll let the assistant manager call it. We are in green. And we start off pressing hard. Let's give the team some encouragement. All right, you've got the, uh, the table and the current scores over here. Not sure if any, I didn't see anything happen there. Oh, there's, no, I thought we got a clearance on that and it goes to the other team. Come on, boys. Oh, my God, it got over. Sander Boone, his 35th of the season. 
That was a bad play by Taruta. I believe he's the one that's six foot five, right? Neteb kept. Oh, it was Neteb. Oh, that is not how we want to start off the game. All right, I'm going to dial it up to attacking, and we are going to we're going to praise him. Not what I wanted to do, but hey. All right, Quasi. Comes back out to him, and he dribbled it right out of bounds, and he claps. Yay, look what I did. You were a tool. That's what you did. You were a tool. All right, some good defense, but it goes to the opposing team. Oh, De Bruyne. What a tackle by De Bruyne. He has been in the starting lineup since we talked about him complaining, and that's going to be a second yellow, and we're going to be a man down here. Okay. That is not what I wanted to see. All right, Nateb, we're going to drop you into the middle. Wreckers, we're going to drop you back. Sabuni. I'm going to put him up here. Not his... Tell you what, I'm going to bring I'm going to keep Wreckers up here. We're going to drop Harms back and we are going to bring Katarov on for Sabuni. Not his fault, just need to make the move. We're going to make him a playmaker. I don't want any of these guys doing ball playing. We're just going to get it out. All right. I think we're going to go there. All right. So Andre Katarov comes on for Sabuni. Long throw. It's there. Take, oh my God, the keeper was on the ground and we could not get the ball through the crowd. And once again, defender's legs cost us horribly. That one is off the mark. Let's encourage him here. Uh, I am going to drop back to balanced. Oh, and, and, we're going to regroup when we lose possession, and we want to force them inside. I think that's fine. Let's try that. All right, Wreckers, squared in. Nice ball through, and another block. How many times have we seen defenders just take the ball away that motivates them let's demand more it's played out to the wing quasi gets there nice ball out to chelik he's into the attack zone and he crosses it right into Toomey's face. In the face. Oh, come on, boys. Good save by DeKaiser. All right. Chelik is not playing well. Let's bring Quasi over for him. 
Let me kind of look over here. De Bruyne's not playing well. I think that's going to be my league match. League match, yes. All right, let's bring Kook on. And let's bring Toll on. Do I want Toll or do I, is Hellstrom on the bench? Hellstrom is not on the bench. All right, well, that makes that decision very easy. All right, we'll give him a pep talk. I don't usually do that. Uh, confirm sub. There we go. Oh, it goes over. McCowie. He's on a breakaway. And he puts it over. Oh, he sailed it. All right, there's our subs. Wreckers. Wrecker steals it, and he's taken down by DeGroot. I am Groot. Nothing came out of that. Into the box. Damn, damn. No, you got to get to the ball, fellas. To the ball. Good block. Knocked away. Thought we had a counter opportunity. Let's go up to positive. We're going to try to fire him up. No, Quasi didn't like that. Oh, what a save by Viral. He keeps us alive. I have not seen a score. I have not looked. I have forgotten to look. Next time we get up to that screen, we'll pause it. Oh, and yes, we are losing. That means Satard is winning. Satard is up 1-0 on a Tago 67th minute goal. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Not as bad as the penalties, but it's going to hurt. Oh, maybe we've got a counter here. Toll on the run. He doesn't have anybody with him, though. He takes a ping and is just off the mark. We're going to bring on... The, oh, I can't... Wait a minute. Is it my Ukraine save that I can make five subs? Yes, so. Well, I kind of blew my wad early there, then. All right, Baral. All right, we're going to have to go up to attacking. Demand more. It's over the top. Passed back. We are just not... We're not controlling the passing. I'm going to drop tempo here. And we're going to have to go more direct passing. The other thing we're going to have to do is... We're going to have to take that off. I'm going to turn all that off. Maybe we can get some Route 1 passing going. Arms is beaten. Whoa! That would have been a dagger in the heart. Goes just wide of the mark. We hold on. Okay, there's a lazy pass. It's through. It's in. McCowie! And he scores! 21st goal of the season. An equalizer. All right, now. What does that do? If they lose... Yep, they're, they're ahead of us. All right, so we've got to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We need another one. All right. Let's uh, demand more again. And we picked up an injury, and we don't have any subs. Doing the early substitutions wouldn't have mattered here because I would have made the other sub usually around the 80th minute. A foot injury.
Can I make an injury sub, though? No. Advanced playmaker on attack and a ball-winning midfielder on support. Defensive mid on defend. And defensive width. Force opposition inside. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to condense our lines here. I don't think I have a choice. Five minutes of stoppage time. Look at the space. Oh, what a save by Varal. Oh, he has been such a huge player for us this season. We're into the 93rd minute. Two minutes of stoppage time. They lump it down into the corner. It comes back through. Varal is there. Over the top. No, I thought we were going to get a breakaway there, maybe. Just maybe. Quazy gets back on defense. Just so many. Two extra players there. The boys have played. They've given it their all today. They have shown the heart that they have. I am so proud of them. Oh, this was brutal. Oh, taken down. All right, can we... No, it's played out. Ugh. And it's a draw. Emmons wins the league. And we are going to be relegated into the playoffs. Not relegated, but we'll be put into the playoffs. Yeah, we don't need to. Yeah, can I can I get out of this maybe? Just maybe. Yeah. Let's just go to post match. Yeah, we're off. Wait a minute. We've been promoted due to results going elsewhere. Eh? What? Why can't I see the results? <laughs> uh, let's go cautious, reluctant, unlucky boys. Just wasn't our night. Did we still get promoted? We are promoted. And I'm a national hero. What happened to Fortuna? Oh, Zwoll scored in the 93rd minute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. So that McCallie goal in the 81st minute turns out to be possibly the biggest goal of the season for us. And then Sten Stryker with a 93rd minute equalizer for Zwoll. And that gives us the draw that we needed with Sitard, and we go up on goal differential. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Let's pop over to my Steam here. So let's see. 90% board confidence. I had reached that during that run of seven games. 13.6% of players have that. Promotion in a domestic league, 13.3%. And a national hero from the bottom to the top. That doesn't really count because there's only two leagues here. So, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll take credit for it, but slow your roll. <laughs> oh, my God. So, we have gotten automatic promotion, boys. Automatic promotion. That is astounding. We didn't win the league. That's, you know, we are promoted to the Arita Visi. I hope I pronounced that right. 
Big win, a 5-1 to one win over RKC. Finished the season with an eight-match unbeaten run. Garuda is suspended for a match. We're going to issue a warning to him. John Toll, four to five weeks for that injury, twisted ankle. No playoffs, automatic promotion. So we're going to end this episode here. Next episode will be the off-season transfer window and uh, going over the new budget, which is right there. Um, I hit it, edited it out, and I, forgot, I didn't look at it because I didn't see it. And we'll take a look. We'll start from this point, looking at the budget. We'll review the team, see what players are going to be leaving, and uh, then we will make some decisions on what we need to address for next year. Guys, oh my goodness. Kind of anticlimactic because I thought, I thought it was going to the playoffs, but... We got promoted. We got promoted. That's a good thing. I wonder if we get any uh, any bump here. Yes, we gained almost a whole st about a whole star for gaining promotion. So that's awesome. Awesome news. So we're up to one and a half stars. And all right, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe. Let your friends know that we got promoted. And we'll see you in a couple of days for the transfer special. Have a good one. Bye.